Good afternoon, everybody. It's your main correspondent, Alan Taylor, and I'm back in the broadcast room yet again, man, with another one. Yeah, but, you know, it, it ain't like the other one, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you, know, you know. But, yeah, we got a little something here today, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it, this is kind of like a, a, a little skit movie type situation things you know what i'm saying but uh yeah i kind of peeped it out man it's crazy but it shows the dynamics of the thinking of the modern woman in today's society and i guarantee you there are some sisters out here that do think this way and this is dead serious and i'm just being real you know what i'm saying but hey, shout out to all my subscribers. Hit that like button. Show me some love at all times, man. Right here in the bottom line news. And uh, yeah, we gonna hop right on into it, baby. I've already made the reservations. Okay, baby. Well, I just got off, so I'll be I'll be home in about 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, and Roger called about the car. What did he say? Yeah. Up, oh, see, there we go right there. First sign of bullshit. Now this, now this Dean Bat is on the phone with her husband. You know what I'm saying? She drops the, she basically drops the phone just because she seen that particular type of vehicle pull up. You know what I'm saying? Looking like uh uh uh, who did it and what the hell for? You know? Let's go. Sorry, baby. Yeah, I'm here. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Let me let me call you right back. My boss is calling. Uh, excuse me, miss. <laughs> How may I help you? Um, uh, I have a meeting with uh, RFB Movies. I've been trying to get the uh, uh, receptionist on the phone. I'm not having any luck. Do you mind uh, pointing me in the right direction? Yeah, it's on the 24th floor. You know what? It's right next to my law firm. Oh, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I almost forgot. What suite number is it? 2406. 2406. Thank you again. You know what? Why don't I show you? I mean, I left some papers on my desk, and I have to go up there anyways. Look at that. The pussy already wet. Right there. <laughs> It started getting wet the moment he turned into the damn, uh, uh, you know, uh, parking lot, basically. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, let's just keep this shit 100, you know. But see, here we go with the foolishness and the bullshit. Now, keep in mind, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know, for, for this scenario here. Yes, the, 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 the woman is married. You know what I'm saying? This and that. Here we go. Okay, follow me. I didn't get your uh, name. It's Kate, and I never got yours. Hi, it's Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kate. Nice to meet you. I've never seen you around here. You must be new. That I am. I recently moved from California to here. Oh, a Californian. Yep. <laughs> so what, what made you move? Uh, I got a job opportunity with uh, RFE Movies. I'm a film producer. Oh, okay. That's a nice, interesting job. Yeah, it has moments. Man, she did. She damn near want to goddamn it take his ass right there. <laughs> Let's just keep this shit 100. Pay attention to the scenario, people. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? And hey, I'm telling you, man. You know, hey, you you women be out here. They meeting every. They meeting different men. Period. You know what I'm saying? You know, it ain't just your friends you got to watch out for. I mean, shit, you got to watch out for every man. But who got the time to really put in all that type of effort to do all that type of shit? Let's go. Are you married? That's why if she ain't for you, she just ain't for you. No, I'm not. Are you? 
There you go, right there. There you go, right there. You see the look. She got to look down at the fuck. What the bitch? What the fuck is on the floor? What the, what the hell is on? And what the French toast is there to think about? Not a damn thing. Bitch, what the fuck is on the floor? Ain't shit on that damn floor. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. So I guess that means you could be my tour guide. Show me around the city a little bit. Well, that all depends. Depends on what? How long is your meeting? Mm, about uh, two to three hours, tops. Okay. Let me see your phone. Look, there you go. There you go, right there. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna move it up just a tiny bit. Real talk, you know what I'm saying? She, uh, you know, she dips off after she gets the number, you know what I'm saying? Here we go right here. She at home, here go the husband. Baby, everything okay? You hear it in the house and been in this bathroom for some time now, baby. Baby. I'm sorry, honey. It's just a lot happened at work today and it's just very stressful. Why are you all dressed up? I thought you said council reservations. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention that we have a last minute gathering at work and we all have to be there. You know, you know how this goes, just lawyer stuff. And you just found this out? Yeah, they told me on my way home. Baby, why are you not wearing your wedding ring? Where's it at? <laughs> Bad sign right there. <laughs> You niggas out there ever catch your wives and shit like time out and she ain't wearing her wedding ring? Real talk? This, here we go, right here. This this would need to go down right here. Hold on. Hold on, right here. Cancel that bitch. I'll buy another Cancel that bitch and buy another one. Real talk, man. Real talk. All right, here we go, though. You know, I, I forgot to mention, we had this game that we we're playing at work, and I just, I had to take it off. It, it's right over there in my other purse. I'll put it back on. Lying. Shoot, it's skin late. Okay, honey, All I right. have to we go. We're about to okay. move this up just a tiny bit, real talk. You know what I'm saying? She dips on out. And uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know right. you were a little crazy. Y'all see it right Sometimes there, you know happy. what I'm saying? <laughs> She all hooked up. She all in. She all in this dude's eyes. I'm talking about. She so. She so far up this motherfucker's face. To at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. He could. He could barely smile. Goddamn it, comfortably. She so far up in his fucking face. You know what I'm saying. Real talk. Ding bad shit. Today. Me too. I was happy to be our tour guide. Uh huh. Here we go right here. So we're gonna keep moving on up real quick. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know, so come to find out here in this scene I'm about to go to. Of course, the the, the dude that, you know, the new dude, he a producer, right? So her husband actually is a script writer. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get a movie produced. So, you know, at the end of the day, his movie gets picked up by the dude that she uh, cheating on him with company. So now he's the producer of her husband's movie. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. All right. That's the scenario there. Let's get into it. Good evening. You Kevin? Yeah, I'm Kevin. Glenn Walters, man. I spoke to you earlier on the phone. Oh, how you doing, man? Hey, how's it going? Glenn. Nice. Come on, take a seat. Thank you. Uh. After our phone conversation about the pitch, I have to say the studio was very pleased with your work, and we decided to move forward with it. Right. Now, Here we go. I'll be the producer that's in charge of producing this picture. Glenn? Glenn, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just a little mind blown right now. Why? What seems to be the problem? All my life, all I wanted to do is write scripts and have my story right. produced. And just to see it happen. See, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. 
Sad for him. But hey, at the end of the day, the man was on his mission. The man was on his mission. Real talk. He was on a mission to get to the politicians, and it was working itself out. Now, I'm finna move forward just a tiny more bit. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's about to pop off. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we about to go here. Hold on. Let me see something here. Where is that scene? Oh, I think I need to go right here, huh? Let's go here. Oh, actually, uh, I'm going on a date tonight with this uh, beautiful young lady I've been talking to. Wow, what's going on? Talk to me. Well, if you ain't doing nothing later on, you know, my wife, she work late. So if you want to hang out and go over a few things, hey. You know what? That sounds intriguing. Let me give uh, Kate a call and see um, see if I can reschedule somewhere. Ding, ding, ding. Did you say Kate? Yeah. What a coincidence. My wife's name is Kate. Oh, really? I bet she's very beautiful. Every Kate I know is very beautiful. What? Yeah, she is that. And I love her to death. Hey, baby, what are you doing? I'm just finishing up. I'm excited about later. Yeah, about later. Um, I have some work stuff that just came up I have to take care of. You think we could uh, reschedule until another day tomorrow, maybe? Okay. Now pay attention to the really scenario. To later, but it's fine. We can reschedule. Watch this. Okay, love, brother. What's up? Text me when you get off. Okay. Now this is what makes a true ding bat right here. Straight. Uh, what? Here we go. Here we go. Ding bat move. Hey, baby. Hey, um, so my boss just let me know that I can get off early so we can go on a little date later, if you want. So your boss said you can get off early today? I thought you said no matter what happened, you have to file them documents today. Yeah, well, some things have changed, so he wants me to do it tomorrow. Okay, baby, okay. You mind if I call you back? Okay, sure. Now here we go. Here we go. Now, you know what I'm saying? You finna see. Why this would not why this scenario was a Dean bad ass move. You know what I'm saying? She not even knowing what the fuck going on. See, you know what I'm saying? When 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 people are Dean bats, you know what I'm saying? They don't do much thinking. They run off emotion. And, and move very unlogically. They don't try to consider what the fuck going on. They don't try to think about what they've told people or what they haven't told people and stuff like that. So they move in, in, in a very dingbat way. You know, they always hitting walls and, and, you know, running into things and running into problems and, you know, real talk. That's what dingbats do. So let's go. Do you have a picture of your girlfriend? Not to be crazy or nothing, but something weird just happened. Right, you right, right, right. He beeped that out. So you know what I'm saying? He just gets off the phone with the with the with the chick. Of course, you know, he not 100 percent sure if that's his chick, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, though, it's mighty funny. Soon as he get off the phone, you know what I'm saying, his wife end up calling him. Soon as he get off the phone with his chick, his wife end up calling him. So let's go here. Uh, there she is. And the sad, but the, the other sad part about it is this dumbass bitch was stupid enough to allow a picture to be taken. Dean bats always running in the shit. Real talk now, they always running in the shit. They always running in the shit. Let's go. What's wrong? That's my wife. What? Are you sure? She told me she was single. That's my wife, man. We've been married for eight years. Are you, are you sure for real? How long have you been seeing her? I haven't seen her for about a week now. She's been uh, showing me around. First off, I, hold up. Let me go back real quick. I'm sorry. 
and what the French toast is there to think about. Yeah, it's a lot to think about. You know what I'm saying? First off, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, for a man to ask you that type of question, and and then, you know, you, you comply, you show him your chick and this and that, and he tell you that this his wife, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody just busting out lying like like talking about boss shit like that. You know, not in reality. You know what I'm saying? Not in reality, you know. But I, I told y'all this was a skit, so you know what I'm saying? We just, but we still, it, it still applies to life, real talk. It still applies to life. Around and helping me and stuff, but uh, she, she told me she was single. She was she ain't wearing a wedding ring. Right. I'm talking about she got to work late. She be coming over all the time with lame excuses. I'm talking about overtime at work and all stuff that don't make no sense. You gotta be kidding me, man. I don't know why she would do something like this and destroy her home. Look, man, I'm sorry, all right? She told me she was single. I had no idea. It's not your fault. There you go, right there. There you go, right there. Ding, ding, ding. Shout out. <laughs> This the, this the way this the way you handle it out here, okay? Now it's not like these two were actually friends. It's not like this was his best friends or shit like that. You find out some shit like that in a scenario or something close to this right here, you don't get mad at that man. Especially if he being transparent with you like that, you you don't get mad at him. See, that's been too many problems out there. We don't correct the right people when shit like this pop off. Real talk, we don't correct the right people. You know, in reality, a, a, a nigga probably would have jumped up in this other nigga face talking about, man, you with my wife, and you, and man, you, no, 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 man, you go check your bitch, man. Real talk. You go check her. Especially if you two, if you two gentlemen don't even know each other from jump and some shit like that pop off, he ain't at fault. She told him clearly that she was not married, man. <laughs> And he expressed that information to you. <laughs> Don't get mad at the dude. Go check your bitch, bro. She didn't tell you she was married. She told you she was single. It's not your fault. It's her fault. Hey, brother, I'm real sorry, all right? All right, all right, You all guys right. been intimate. What do you mean? Have you guys had intercourse? He knew what that meant. Yeah. Yeah, we did. This is crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, man. I have no idea. I'm, I'm really, really, really sorry. How would she do that? I don't know. I, I know. You know, that shit's crazy. That shit is crazy. But at the end of the day, you know, yeah, some weak nigga, he'll be lost his mind up in that motherfucker. Be ready to kill that dude. Man, you, you been sleeping with my wife the whole time. The man just told you he didn't even know, bruh. Check your bitch, B. Put your boxes on, son, and take off your damn panties. <laughs> Check your wife, bro. All right, let's keep going a little bit here. She's been acting strange for the last couple of days, man. Her schedule didn't change. Everything about her didn't change. But now, it makes sense. So what are you going to do? I have a plan. Hey, hey, hey. He came up with a plan. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, man. On the fly, he came up with a plan. Let's just, you know, you know, you know, it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you know how these girls are out here, man. I guarantee you, man, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 you know, I ain't saying, you know, but real talk, I ain't gonna lie to you. It shit work different when you're married than when you just in a uh just a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, man. Boyfriend, girlfriend, shit. Hey, listen, man. Just, just cut the shit loose and let it go. But of course, your wife. That's a whole different situation. This bitch got your last name and all this type of shit. She got uh, uh, important information on you. She know your social security numbers and all this stuff. She know too much information about you to let that type of shit slide. You know what I'm saying? That's some checking shit that need to happen. Real talk. She know too much personal information about you to be pillow talking with another nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I guarantee you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bitches be all up in your face when you tell them about yourself and shit. They, they like this. I wanted something new. I wanted something fun. 
someone fun like Kevin and he's damn near perfect. You know what I'm saying? You know, talking shit. Talking fucking shit. And we about to get to it. Yeah, I snapped it. You'll find out what that means just a little bit. I snapped it, though. Here we go. He got the surprise for the bitch now. Come on. You know I don't like surprises. I can't see anything. Hey, hey. Another thing, too. Another thing, too. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. In women's nature, they're very curious beings. So if a woman tell you she don't like surprises, that bitch a sneaky bitch. Real talk, she don't like to be snuck up on. 100 fucking percent, 10 toes down, baby. 10 toes down. Don't let them fool you. You know, women love fucking surprises because they like the, they like the, 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 the thrill, the, the adrenaline rush that they get for something that they don't know. That's the whole purpose about wanting to find something new. You know what I'm saying? What the hell you talking about? Pay attention. Pay attention. First thing you want to know the surprise. Just come with me, man. Don't trust no bra that tell you she don't like surprises, bro. Uh-uh. Now look. Kevin. Babe, what is what is he doing here? Do you know this man? Yeah, yeah, but how do you know him? What a coincidence. You remember that script I was writing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Sorry, y'all, I was trying to fix my cup. But hold on, no. You know, first of all, bitch, no, you ain't finna ask me how the hell I know him. That ain't the damn point, motherfucker. You know, and what the French toast is there to think about? Not a damn thing, man. That ain't the point. You don't question me at this point. Bitch, I'm the one asking the questions. And Kevin is the producer over the movie. Why would you do that? Huh? Why would you tell me you're a single and you know you're married? And why would you hurt your husband like that? You don't understand. It was it was just a moment type of thing. It it just happened. It just happened. For a week it just happened? What do you mean it just happened? Baby, you have to believe me. I love you. It wasn't supposed to happen. It just... I promise it. What? It won't happen again. Why did you decide to cheat on me? What happened? Baby, it wasn't on purpose. Tell me the truth. I wanted something new. I wanted something fun. Someone fun like Kevin, and he's damn near perfect. Well, why are you... Yo, that ain't what, that ain't how they go. That is not how they go, bro. If your chick tell you some dumb ass shit like that and he's damn near perfect, what the fuck you talking about? And we've been married eight years? I can't, let's just, let's just keep going. <laughs> just didn't come to me and tell me the truth while creeping behind my back. Hey. Why don't you just ask for a divorce and do the things the right way? Since I'm not good at- She not gonna ask for no damn divorce. That's the whole point. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, listen, as the, as you, if you the husband, you the main stability shit. You know what I'm saying? In case this fling don't go no fucking where. You know what I'm saying? She always, she still got you in the back pocket. But I'm going to tell you something too. If that bitch get, if that bitch had a got away with that shit, she was going to be pissed off at her husband. You know what I'm saying? About the, the new dude not trying to keep her. Real talk. She was gonna be pissed off at him. He wasn't gonna even have a clue as to why she, why she, her mood and changed. She all pissed off all the time. She ain't trying to give him no loving no more. She ain't even trying to talk to him. She talking sideways and crazy and acting like she done lost her damn mind. She would have blamed him for the other dude not keeping her. Real talk. 
play with it. Enough for you no more. So you telling me eight years of what we built was worth throwing away in a week? You don't understand. I, I fell in love. This, this man is damn near perfect. You know what? I don't want to hear another word. You're disgusting. You're a terrible human being. And you're a lying pig. I want nothing else to do with you. And don't you ever call my phone again. Look, you're a grown man, and I can't tell you what to do. But she does not deserve your courtesy, your forgiveness, or your love. And I can't tell you what to do, but I know what I'll do. I know what he'll do. Hello, I got you right here. Yes, let me <laughs> right, cancel that bitch. He'll buy another one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk. If I was in your shoes, we'll talk. Kevin. Don't you dare follow me. Like I said, I'm done with you. But baby, we can talk about this. Love. Hold. Oh man, hold up, hold up, man, wow, wow, can, can I just say, can I just say, can I, now what the French toast is there to think about? Not a damn thing, man, oh my goodness. Man, can I just say it, man? Hold on. Let, let me, you know, man, wow. Where is, man, I, fuck it. I'm finna say, where is a taser when you need one? <laughs> fuck the dumb shit. Yeah, I'ma say it. Man, my wife done some shit like that. You gonna chase after another man in my face? Man, I'm, man. Oh my God. Ooh, man, a good taser? I will light her punk ass up. Real talk, ten toes down. I'm not playing around. You disrespected me. I don't know what you told this cat. You may have told this cat my social security number or whatever the fuck you think you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And your little lust ass activity. You ding bad ass bitch. I'm lighting your ass up. Uh uh. Total disrespect. All right, here we go. Are you kidding me right now? Like really? Maybe we can work this out. Now, did you did you pay attention? Hold on, let 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 me go back real quick. Let's go back real quick. We going right here. Watch this again. Like really? Right there. The, the look right there. Okay. So now what what that look is right there? That look right there is the most incredible look that you will ever see on a woman's face when she knows she done 100% fucked up. What? And what is that look? The look of dumbfoundedness. <laughs> That's the dingbat's look. Right there. That's the dingbat's look. Look at that look. That is a certified 100% dingbat. Right there. That's the look right there. And why does she have that look? Now she's re-registering things. Now she's going back through, okay, yeah, I just chased this man down right here in front of my husband. I still got to go home with this motherfucking man right here. We live in the same damn house. So let me try to let me try to backtrack and shit. But see, she's so deep off in her emotional feelings. You know what I'm saying? To now. She's she's more than confused. She's like a whole tornado in her mind right now. It's a whole tornado. It's just number the whirlwind. That's the reason why she was able to turn around so fast like that. It's a whirlwind going through her whole head. You know what I'm saying? She fucked up in the brain. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? She's still conscious. She still knew what the fuck she was doing. Real talk. Oh yeah, she still knew what the hell she was doing. But a mind twirling though. It's like a it's like a hurricane in that mind right there. Tornado. Maybe we can work this out. You just chased after another man in front of me. I'm sorry. 
sorry, okay? Don't be sorry. The divorce papers are on the tables. Just let me know when you have them signed. And that, my friends, is the bottom line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk. What? What? And what the French toast is there to think about? <laughs> Not a damn thing, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. It, you know, here she go right here. She's still here. She's still here. She's still here. That's where she is. You know what I'm saying? Over there, she's still in Disney and shit. Hold on. And hold up. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's the end of it. I'm going to rewind back real quick to, you know, about right there. Hold on now. Let's go right here. All right. You know what I'm saying? And this is the deal. Do not let this look right here fool you. No, sir. Don't do it. If you, I mean, if you happen to see it, you know, if you, you know, not walking the fuck off like you're supposed to be doing, you know, I mean, let's just keep this real. You know, so, you know, don't let this look fool you right here. This is the look of, you know, I got caught. I lost at, I lost it all. I lost it both. I played the game and the game ended up playing me. That's what that look is. She is not sorry. She enjoyed every minute of that time that she spent with the side dude. She enjoyed all the time that she spent with you, sucking you dry, your fucking resources and your and your your energy and your mindset and, and having to pour into her and she, you know, probably halfway pouring back into you. And she enjoyed all that damn time. She enjoyed all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Only to sit there and tell you this. I wanted something new. I wanted something fun. Someone fun like Kevin, and he's damn near perfect. Real talk. Real talk, man. So, you know, don't be fooled by these looks, man. I'm telling you, man, you know, screw all that, man. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. At, at the end of the day, I, I just don't, I just don't have it in me no more. I lost that shit years ago, you know what I'm saying? And you know, Air Blue Moon, I kind of hate it, but then though, know, it be shit that remind me of the reason why I lost that. And it's worked out for the better for me. But at the end of the day though, man, I'd like to thank all y'all for tuning in, showing me some love. If you made it this far, real talk, you know what I'm saying? Please hit that like button, share button, subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Hit, hit, just hit all them damn buttons, you know what I'm saying? Just, just hit them all, man. You know, for real though. Show the bottom line news some love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we come with you, you know, I'm, I'm trying to come with y'all with a little bit of everything. But it is what it is though, man. Mad love, like I always say about this time. That, my friends, is the bottom line.